Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Frank from 5am Ramen and I am in the Nakano neighborhood of Tokyo right now. Plenty of great ramen. I'm actually doing some filming today with Hachiko District. I've done a bunch of collabs with them up to now. And today we are getting an insanely meaty, garlicky mess of a ramen. This is Jiroke Ramen and we're getting extra, extra toppings. It's gonna be quite a thing to tackle. Here we go. For those new to 5am ramen, welcome. This is your one-stop shop for all things ramen, directly from Japan. I'm Frank, a Tokyo native that eats ramen every day. I mentioned that I'm today in Tokyo's Nakano neighborhood. There's an insane amount of fantastic ramen in Nakano, from classic leaning ramen to modern ramen. But today, our focus is on that word insane, especially when considering the portion size of the ramen we'll be featuring. I'm filming with media group Hachiko District and we're visiting Butayama, literally translated as Pig Mountain or Pork Mountain. Butayama is a chain that does Jiro style ramen. Jiro style ramen is defined by things like a salty soy sauce seasoning, pork back fat, a lot of it, garlic, a mountain of cabbage and bean sprouts, and thick, dense noodles. It's already a heavy style to begin with. This is what their standard portion of ramen looks like at Butayama. All the things I mentioned. This is probably what sane people order. They even have a soupless version of this ramen. Just give it a good thorough mix. But today is not a standard portion day. Hachiko District and I are ordering the biggest ramen on the menu. A whopping, confidence crushing 2 kilo ramen. That's 4.4 pounds. You almost need a forklift or at least really big Popeye-like forearms to lift it. Anyways, let's get to it and go inside Butayama's Nakano branch. Here we are, with everyone already filming in the kitchen. Got a big crew in the kitchen here. They're filming two videos, I think. One is for the actual Facebook video and the other one is kind of a behind the scenes video. We got AJ over here, okay. getting ready for the mountain we're gonna climb. Here's our buttons. And I think um, basically we're getting this guy here, which is double portions of pork. I think we're adding some cheese as well and extra meat. So this is gonna be massive. From here, I'm jumping in the kitchen myself to watch the staff at Budayama create this monster of a ramen. First on the agenda is the shoyu tare or soy sauce seasoning. It's bold and salty. Basically the flavor foundation of this ramen. Now the soup is a rich pork bone based one with extra pork fat for good measure, of course. I wanna point out that it's super greasy in the ramen shop kitchen. This is usually the case with this style of ramen. You're almost slipping and sliding when you're walking around. Most of the time, the staff wear boots actually. Now let's move on to the noodles. Thick, thick noodles here. Coming back to the tikka machine, their small portion of ramen comes with 250 grams of noodles. One below that is the mini portion and this comes with 125 grams. Large and above is a bowling ball of noodles, 375 grams. And the noodles are ready. I think there's something always satisfying about watching the yugiri or the straining of the noodles. I want to point out that this is a massive table required for the massive portion of noodles that we're getting. Now comes the mountain of bean sprouts and cabbage. What you see here is for two ramen. In other words, I'll be getting half of all of this. Oh, and he's not done yet either. He really has to press everything in just to make sure this mountain doesn't topple over. They're now putting on the final touches. Let's go to me in the kitchen. Okay, so they're topping up the ramen now. This is insane. Look at that. And they haven't stopped there. Basically, they just added the cabbage and bean sprouts. And now comes the garlic. Oh my God, look at that oil there. Oh my God. <laughs> We're gonna be eating that. Oh my God. <laughs> Insanity. Insanity is right. There's more than a few calories in the pork back fat or seabura. 
Mind you, the soup is already fatty to begin with. Here, they're adding more of that salty soy sauce seasoning, because why not? Now, onto the pork toppings. These are huge slices of fatty pork belly, matching the porky theme of the ramen. We get not one, not two, not three, but eight of these bad boys. And just like with the garlic, you really have to make sure they don't fall off. Pressing them into the ramen, just like commuters will get pushed into a train during rush hour here. Anyways, next is the egg, with there really being no space for it. But there is some leftover space at the very top. And here's where they add a slice of cheese. It's like a little hat on top of this ramen. And this is the finished product. It's like the Technodrome with pork. Mount Doom spewing pork back fat instead of lava. Whatever you want to call it, it's crazy. Bear in mind, this is what the standard portion looks like. They're doing the same things to it, but on a much, much smaller scale. What on earth have I gotten myself into? We all pose with the ramen, get some good footage before actually diving in. And here we go. About to dive in, oh my God. But I'm gonna try my best to finish it. I don't even know where to start. And like you pick something up, like everything just falls off. Like the bean sprouts, uh, the cabbage, my god. Jeez. I feel like it's gonna take me a year before I even get to the noodles. So I plow through, hacking my way first through that thick forest of bean sprouts and cabbage. To be clear, I'm not eating two of these bowls now. AJ's bowl was just closer to me so that we got the right shot. After what I thought was the halfway point, here's some audio from me on the day. I'm not sure why I didn't have video, only audio. It might have been just because I was in a drunken pork stupor at the time. I'm struggling. I don't know, I think the technique is supposed to be, you know, go back and forth between the cabbage and also maybe the pork in this case, and maybe the noodles if you can actually get them. But I went really hard in the beginning, focusing on the cabbage and the bean sprouts. I think that filled me up. There's practically no bean sprouts and cabbage left. Yeah, a lot of noodles at the bottom. I can only see the noodles now. Oh my God, um, I might have to tap out. I've had some pretty crazy days where I ate a lot of ramen, but it's pretty spread out. In one sitting, this is a lot to finish. A little sad I couldn't, <laughs> couldn't finish, but I think I made an okay dent. I climbed that pork mountain. And as I was climbing it, I fell down and basically rolled down to the bottom of the mountain. Thank you, Butayama, and I'm sorry I couldn't finish everything. I lick my wounds and retreat to the streets of Nakano. Oh my God. I think also like it's delicious, but because it's so greasy, I had a hard time really pushing through. What really filled me up was those uh, bean sprouts and also the cabbage. Uh, so much water in them. I think the only metal I'll get for this is uh, bean sprout and cabbage metal, if there ever was one. I think I had two pieces of pork left, you know, had a good amount of noodles, but still really didn't make a dent with the noodles. Oh my god, what a crazy, crazy bowl. And I'm sure there are people that finish it as well. I think this mask is gonna smell like garlic for the next three months. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video behind the scenes filming with Hachiko District and us filming a crazy, crazy bowl. Basically a two kilo bowl at Butayama or Pig Mountain. I think we all pretty much climbed the mountain. Didn't reach the top, but I think we went pretty far. This is Frank from 5am Ramen signing out. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Hope to see you in the next video.